welcome everyone here. Thank you so very much for being here tonight. And I hope that uh, you all uh, will see some of the workings that the uh, council is doing. Uh, we're going to have at this time the invocation given by Brother Brad, Reverend Brad Thompson of Callaway Baptist Church. Please stand. Would you bow your heads and let's pray. Father, you said in your word that this is the day that the Lord has made. May we rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for today and thank you for your blessings, Father, Lord, that you load us with daily. Thank you so much for our town, our city, and Lord, these leaders that are here today in our council. I pray today, Father, that you would just give them wisdom, not just any wisdom, but godly wisdom, Father. Lead and guide and direct them every step they make and every decision they make. Father, I just pray that they would seek your face. Father, and once again, I pray for our town, I pray for our city. Lord, that everything we do will glorify you. And we ask you to just to bless us, Father. Lord, give us joy. Give us peace. And once again, Father, bless us. And we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so very much, uh, Reverend Thompson. Uh, really appreciate you. Uh, you've all been given uh, copies of our uh, agenda today. I'd like to receive a motion of second to approve our minutes for September 26, 23. Motion second. approved. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign. Ayes having so carried. Uh, no employee recognitions board and agency appointment. Historical preser preservation to the commission. Three year term to succeed uh, Sarah Barrington. I'll nominate um, Barbie Watts to fill that position. Second. Has been motion to prop the second that Bobby Watts, Barbara? Barbie. Barbie. Bobby. Bobby Watts will uh, take that position. All in favor, aye. 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 Closed by the same sign, and it passes unanimously. Public hearing to receive comments on vinyl siding amendment in the unified, uh, unified uh, development ordinance. Uh, the public hearing has been properly advertised, Mayor. At this time, we would take any comments. Anyone would like to approach the uh, council on the uh, concern, on this concern? Seeing none, we declare that public hearing closed. Uh, delegations, we have a city intern today. Good. Hello, Mayor and Council. I'm Adam Spees, and as you know, I also help coordinate our LaGrange Youth Council, LaGrange 101, and also our city internships. And we have had two phenomenal young ladies who wanted to learn more about what the city does on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, both London Fryer and Alyssa Parker have spent the last <laughs> six weeks to two to last two months learning a little bit more and more, and I'm going to let them uh, speak to you and let you know exactly what they've been doing. So to start things off, Ms. London Fryer. Hi, I'm London Fryer. I'm an eighth grader at Lafayette Christian School. I've always liked government and wanted to learn more about it. For the past six weeks, I sat with Katie Venture, Adam Spees, Kathy Tilly of Visit LaGrange, and Britt Gibbs of Sweetland to learn more about all the things the marketing and communications team are doing. I also attended the 9-11 stair climb and saw the process of getting good photography for community events. My two favorite parts were sitting with Mr. Gibbs and learning about the concerts at Sweetland and also sitting with Mr. Spees to learn more about videography. I even got to make my own video. Could we play that now, please? Hello, my name is London Fryer. I am 13 years old and I would like to thank the mayor and city councilman for letting me have this internship and I had an amazing time. Again, thank you for letting me intern at the City of LaGrange. I now like to invite Alyssa Parker to talk about her internship. Good evening, Mayor and Council. My name is Alyssa Parker and I'm a senior at Lafayette Christian School. As the current Vice Chair of our Youth Council, I've gotten a bird's eye view of how our city functions, but I really wanted to learn more. Under the coordination of Adam Spees, I have met with several city staff members to gain a greater understanding of how our city operates. I first met with Adam Spees and Philip Sledge to see their process as they set up and record these city council meetings. 
I sat down with Brent Gibbs and Lizzie Simpson to discuss the inner workings of Sweetland Amphitheater as well as Sweetland on Ice. I met with the city attorney, Jeff Todd, and learned all about the broad spectrum of his job, whether it be writing ordinances or dealing with citywide legal matters. Under Zach Rhodes, I found out about the city's GIS mapping system and how all of that works and is kept up with. With Jeremy Andrews, I learned about competitive bidding, purchase orders, and state contracts. Last Thursday, I met up again with Adam Spees, helping take pictures of dogs at the LaGrange Animal Shelter, and I even got to help in naming a few of them. I attended a few city council work sessions and city council meetings as well. However, the most impactful interactions I had were in my ride-alongs with both the fire and police departments. My first ride-along was with Corporal Bell from the LaGrange Police Department. I witnessed two arrests, but also got to listen in on a service-related phone call. Under Lieutenant Moon and her staff, I went with the firefighters on a drug-related medical call. During both of these ride-alongs, I learned so much about what exactly these departments do, but also how dangerous yet completely necessary they are. From the little glimpse of their day-to-day, -day, and from hearing from both Chief Fivash and Chief Bradfield, I am so incredibly grateful for the City of LaGrange and for the public servants that make it such a wonderful place to live in. I would like to thank everyone I met with for this amazing opportunity, but specifically I would like to thank Adam Spees. Not only did he organize all of this for me, but he met with me continuously to talk and answer any questions that I had, and he was truly behind making this experience so impactful. Thank you all for allowing me to do this, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I want to say, Ms. Parker and Ms. Fryer, you all had a lot of wonderful people that you all were shattering. Uh, Adam is a great guy and I uh, didn't know that you were uh, in with our city attorney and uh, <laughs> wonderful people that you shadowed and uh, we're so thankful for you and we hope that you don't forget LaGrange you're finishing this coming year yes. and you have a few more years eighth grader we're just so thankful glad that you all and, and think about LaGrange now when you finish college come on back and and take our positions we need some new new faces I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, petitions and communications. Uh, thank you, Adam. I'm sorry. Thank you, Sir Uh Authorizing the mayor and clerk uh, to execute uh, GDOT agreement for railroad lighting. Um, yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. Attached to your agenda materials is a lighting agreement for the widening of South Davis Road. Um, as Mr. Arrington pointed out this morning, is from the railroad tracks to Hogansville Road. City staff would recommend approval. Uh, just as a reminder, um, GDOT will actually do the installation of their cost of the lighting, but the city will be responsible for the energy cost as well as the, ma the future maintenance of uh, that system. So, motion just we need a motion. Put motion to approve. Second. Has a motion properly second that we would approve this. All in favor, aye. 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 Uh, opposed by the same sign. And it passes unanimously. To the public, we are uh, the um, GDOT is giving, going to install lights uh, but uh, the city will be responsible for the maintenance of those lights which is common we do this all the time so just let you all know exactly what's going on all right city manager report uh, yes sir mr. mayor I have a few tonight the financial statements for September as well as the payment of bills over two thousand dollars was provided to you with your agenda materials I don't have any particular comments uh, after review of the financials, we are right on budget for revenue and expense at 25%, which is where we should be at this point in the year. Uh, so we're tracking very well as it relates to our budget, but I'd be glad to answer any questions that you might have. Any questions for them? So the budget? city's in good financial standing? Yes, sir, we are. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, this morning at work session, Philip Abbott uh, presented a request to fund a streetscape project on East Depot Street. Um, for what he entitles as the rail district. Um, the first step really in moving forward with the streetscape project is for council to authorize the city manager to hire an engineering firm to develop plans for the streetscape. So if council would like to move forward with that, we would just need a motion uh, to do that. Move forward with uh, second engineer. As a motion proper second, we will move forward with engineering. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed by the same sign, ayes have it and it's so carried. Uh, and finally, well, not finally, Mayor, we do have one additional item, number five, which will be Chief Five Ash. But um, before I get to him, 
Um, we did also have another request this morning that was discussed at work session from South Point Property. They requested council to abandon or quit claim 0.586 acres of property um, and the abandoned right of way of Old Hutchinson Mill Road. Uh, city staff would recommend uh, approval of this quit claim deed. City uh, attorney will prepare that deed. Motion to approve. Second. Has a motion for a second that we would prepare a quick claim deed for uh, Old Hutchinson Mill Road uh, on Pex Pexas Parkway. Uh, all in favor, aye. Uh, aye. Opposed by the same sign. Um, and now I'll turn it over to Chief Five Ash. He wanted to give you an update on the uh, details that uh, the police department's been doing over the last couple of months. Good evening, everyone. I just wanted to share some details with you and catch you back up to I'm trying to keep you abreast on the, the crime suppression numbers uh, based on the, the overtime that you did grant us. Um, to date, uh, we, we did one detail in late August, two in September, and we've done one in October. Uh, to date, uh, those crime, the crime suppression details have garnered 168 citations, 91 arrests, 25 drug investigations, 45 warrants uh, issued or served, and we've taken 12 guns off the street. Um, those are in the four details that, that we've done up to this point. Uh, these details will continue. We'll have another one next week, uh, and then starting uh, actually two more this month, starting in the month of November. Uh, we'll do one day per week instead of three. Uh, but again, just want to let you know you, you are getting your money's worth. Uh, these guys are out here working um, and, and to the, the folks in the audience uh, please please do a couple things for us first if you have a problem call 911 that's what we're here for even if it's something small and if you see something please say something uh, our last two aggravated assaults where we've had people shot we've got no cooperation out of either the victim or the witness both of which were present at both of those crimes uh, so don't know about you. Somebody shoots me, I want to see them go to jail. Mm -hmm. And if you'll if you'll give us your help, we'll see to it that they get put in jail. And this it crime suppression. This can't catch. Them. So <laughs> <laughs> where, where, okay. all right. Thank you, very much. Thank you so much, Chief. We appreciate all that you're doing in your offices. We really appreciate. It. Tell them we really appreciate them. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. That concludes my reports, Mayor. Thank you so much, Miss Kelsey. Yes, sir. Resolutions authorizing the mayor and the clerk to execute a resolution to support for the Kia Electrical Vehicle Project. Um, yes, sir. So in concert with Troop County and the cities inside Troop County, a resolution is attached to your agenda uh, in support of Kia's new um, production line for the electric uh, vehicle project. Staff would recommend approval of the resolution. Motion to charge it up. <laughs> Second. Could we get that? Again. Yeah. Motion to approve. Second. Has a motion properly second that we will approve this uh, resolution. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed by the same sign. <coughs> and it passes unanimously. Uh, first reading of ordinances modifying the uh, Unified uh, Development Ordinance regarding vinyl siding regulations. An ordinance of the Mayor and Council of the City of LaGrange to amend the code of the city to amend the zoning ordinance so as to allow certain existing structures to utilize vinyl siding as a part of an exterior remodeling project to repeal conflicting ordinances to fix an effective date and for other purposes. Modifying the code to clarify the rules of Medway Garden Cemetery. An ordinance of the Mayor and Council of the City of LaGrange to amend the code of the city to modify the code so as to clarify the rules for Medway Cemetery to repeal conflicting ordinances to fix an effective date and for other Motion purposes. Motion to approve. Second. Has a motion proper second. To Aye. Has been motion proper second to approve. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposes by the same sign. Ayes have it, and it passes unanimously. Closing comments. Yes, sir, Mayor. The good news for this evening, Sweet Lane Amphitheater is excited to partner with the Troop County School System for this Friday's Black Violin Concert. Friday, a group of local Troop County School musicians are going to play before the concert begins on the Great Lawn. Then a smaller group of students will be actually performing on stage with Black Violin. We had some generous local supporters pay for the young musicians in the Troop County School System to attend the concert for free, so we're very grateful for that. 
Thank you to Brent and Lizzie from Sweetland for helping to set up this for the community, and we're excited to celebrate our young musicians in this event. We also appreciate the Troop County School System for partnering with us. We're also excited to have the Youth Council Symposium. LaGrange Youth Council will host the GMA Youth Symposium this weekend at Great Wolf Lodge. Approximately 115 Youth Council members from across the state are going to be at this big event. Um, they will be learning leadership skills, discussing issues, and it's very important for our young people to be in a leadership position. Um, also want to remind everyone about to get their mayor's Christmas ball tickets. That ball will be December 9th. It's gonna be a great weekend. Thank you so much, Kate, and I want to uh, say I'm excited about the youth uh, being at Great Wolf uh, this coming weekend. Uh, over 100 and some youth that's gonna be from all over the state, and our youth will be involved as well. So thank you, Adam, for uh, getting them together and all. And we're just excited about this uh, because it's something that uh, will really uh, help the city. And it was expose the children that we have in our, our city and let other cities see that we're doing something for our youth. Uh, uh, with that being said, this meeting is now adjourned. Thanks for everyone for being here.